guys, here it is my personal top five best weapons to use in Infinite Warfare beta. Now, this is a beta, so stats will change when the full game releases. Take the razor back for instance. Back in the beta, in Black Ops 3, it was unbelievable. Everyone used it. It was so good. Now, it's barely usable. I'd rather use the Pharaoh. Anyway, all this is, is my personal opinion. I don't want anyone judging. Let's just hop straight into it with number 5. So coming in at the number 5 spot is the AMC Energy Pistol. This is a semi-automatic pistol, which obviously is an energy weapon. So if you have shot bullets out your mag, if you have bullets in reserve, it transfers to the magazine. So you don't really have to reload. But this is definitely my favourite secondary. And it's a lifesaver every single time. You can kill easily because it's got like 60 damage which is very very good for a pistol it's very accurate and oh my god it's just so good if you have a finger trigger like a half decent one you can normally outgun an assault rifle but if you can tap the trigger really fast you can outgun most smgs now i'm not seeing in every instance you're gonna outgun an smg but then close quarter combat and you're very accurate it's gonna be amazing. Anyway, this is the best pistol I've seen in a while. It really reminds me of the Desert Eagle from like Modern Warfare 2 or the B23R from Black Ops 2. I know it's not a burst weapon like the B23R, it's just as powerful as it. It's just really, really strong, and that's why it's got the number five spot. Next on our list is the E Rod coming in at the number four spot. This is an SMG and it is an energy weapon. So it has the same feature as the AMC. When you have bullets in the reserve and you have shot bullets in your actual mag, it will take the bullets from the reserve and put it in the magazine, basically not allowing you to reload. The thing is about this, it has a really high rate of fire and a low damage. It has a rate of fire of 84 and a damage output of 48. So basically, they flipped it around. I know, very confusing. And it has okay accuracy for an SMG. It has 72, but you don't really look for that in an SMG, do you? The thing I really like about this weapon is that anyone in co close quarters is dead. Anyone who's like right in front of you, as you can see in the gameplay, is dead unless you're really low on ammo. Also, with this weapon, the iron sights. Oh, they're smexy. I know in the gameplay I'm using red dot sight. It's because I didn't know what the iron sights look like. But they're so good. It's so it's better than the red dot. I can say that for sure. It's 10 times better than the red dot. I love it. You can get long range kills with this, surprisingly. I don't know how. I, you, you can't tell me. I don't know. It just happens. You get long range kills so easily in this game. And with the E-Rod, it's no exception. So, let's move on to the number 3 spot. Holding strong in the number 3 spot is the KBS Longbow. The first sniper you obtain in the game. This sniper is definitely the most used sniper in the game. And I personally think this is because it's a ball action sniper and it's the first one you get. I love the sniper scopes and the way the snipers feel this year in COD 4 Remastered and Infinite Warfare. They just seem so smooth. Also, I love this sniper because the damage output is really high, so is the accuracy and so is the range. It's got 82 accuracy, 85 damage and 90 range and it has a very slow cock and bolt. So it means it takes quite a while to get the bullet back in the chamber once you've already shot. That's my opinion. It's a regular sniper, but it's definitely one of the best. Making its way to the number two spot is the NV4 assault rifle. This is the first assault rifle you get in the game, and I don't know why Infinity Ward made it that way. Why give the best assault rifle away to the people who just start the game? Stupid, I know. Within the first 10 levels, I only used this and the AMC pistol. Only two guns I used all the way up to level 10. I know I'm a bit of a bash. 
Anyway, this gun really, really reminds me of the M1A1 from Modern Warfare 3 because it's the first assault rifle you get in the game and also the reload is identical. And also the NV4, the M4A1, same type of name. Moving on to its stats, it has 85 accuracy with grip and quick draw it gets to 100 accuracy, 60 damage and 71 rate of fire. Yes, if you haven't guessed it by now, it is the Karma 45 submachine gun. This submachine gun is unlocked around level 10. Don't worry if you don't want to grind out the game and get to level 10. It's already one of the pre-made classes that Infinity Ward made for you guys. Yes, it is the Vector from Ghosts. You know how overpowered that gun was back in the day of really, really bad Call of Duty Ghosts? Yeah, they brought it back and it's more overpowered. As you can see by the gameplay, it's basically the exact same style, but it has two magazines instead of one. Yeah, it's really, really strange. Every time I put this gun on, I get the warden kill streak. No joke. In this gameplay, I got a warden. I got a warden score streak. It's unbelievable how overpowered and how good this gun is. If you don't believe me, go test it out. Oh my god, it's just epic. Right, let's get on to the stats. It has 68 accuracy, 42 damage, and 81 rate of fire. Now you might say, oh, that's really, really bad. But it has a high mobility. It's not that good of a weapon. But once you get into a game, it defies its stats. It's like, you know what? I'm going to add 20 to every single category. Like, how? It becomes an 100, 198, whatever. It just becomes a god weapon. It's so easy to get kills, streaks. it's so easy to get clips, it's so easy to get kills. So guys, that is my top 5 favourite weapons in Infinite Warfare. The game hasn't been out for long, it's been out for 2 days at the time of recording this. So I haven't got to use every single weapon in the game yet. But these are my preferable weapons to go for. Anyway guys, this is my own preferable opinion. You all have your own opinions, you can say what guns you like, what guns you don't like. Personally, these are my favourite, and I just like them really. Anyway guys, as always, hope you had a good day, hope you continue to have a great day, and as always, peace out, keep rushing, never stop rushing.